Hello everyone, welcome to Pabli Chart Flow. In this video, we are going to learn how to automate order taking for restaurant with WhatsApp chatbot. For example, you have a restaurant and you want to take orders from your many users at once. Responsing each and every user manually is a time consuming, also a very hectic task. To get rid of this type of problems, we are going to create a WhatsApp chatbot. It will create it with the help of Pabli Chart Flow so that whenever your user send a message to your WhatsApp business account then your bot will respond to them automatically in this video I'll also teach you how you can store your user data into your Google sheet in where we can take our trigger application as Pabli chart flow and action application as in Google sheet it is only possible by using Pabli connect so now to see the working of this amazing automation and learn the process step by step let me all take you to my screen Welcome to my screen. Before starting the video of how to create a WhatsApp chatbot which can automatically take orders from restaurant and store the data of the users into the Google Sheet. Let me give you a quick review about how this bot will work and how this bot will respond to your users instantly. By sending a message in my WhatsApp business account of restaurant, here I am sending a message as menu, here I send it, then you can see the bot will respond to me automatically. Welcome to Moonlight Restaurant, how can I assist you today? Please choose what would you like to do while providing me two quick buttons that is view menu and place order if I click on this view menu button then you can see it will provide me the menu category box including one button that is open list if I click on this it will provide me the list of the items that are available in this restaurant that is starters main course and desserts if I click on starters then you can see it will provide me the two types of starter dishes including the buttons that is confirm order or back to menu if I click on this confirm order button then it will ask me for my full name so here I am writing my full name here I write it after that it will ask me for the contact details so here I am providing them one test number here I provide it then you can see the bot will respond to me by my name that is thank you Mehruz Khan for sharing your contact number now please provide your delivery address so I am giving them one test delivery address here I provide it, then you can see the bot will respond to me like this that thank you Mehruz Khan we have received your order and will begin preparing it right away also providing me the address that I have given them here in this video I'll also teach you how to store your user data into your Google sheet like this that is the name address and the contact number that I have given them here it will automatically stored into my Google sheet so if you want to create this type of WhatsApp automated chatbot for your restaurant business that will automatically share your menu as well as take the orders from your users through WhatsApp then you have to follow step by step direction that I am giving you in this video. So let's we get started. At first you have to click on a new tab and search pabli.com slash chatflow. Here you are landed on the official page of Pabli Chartflow. Pabli Chartflow is an all-in-one WhatsApp automation tool which helps us to automate our WhatsApp messages and responses 24 into 7 by creating WhatsApp chatbot for your different type of businesses. This is right over here is Pabli community where automation users, business owners and marketers connect. You can ask questions, share your workflows and get instant replies and helpful feedback from others who have faced similar challenges like you. It is an active and supportive space to learn and grow together. So the link to join this amazing community is in the description box. Here on the right hand side you can see two options are there. The one is sign in and the another is sign up option. If you are a new user then you can click on sign up option. If you are an existing user then you can click on sign in option. As I am in an existing user so I will click on sign in option. See these are the all apps that Pabli provide to their user. As we are creating a WhatsApp chatbot so I'll go in the Pabli chart flow box by clicking access now button. Here you are landed on the dashboard of Pabli chart flow where you can see your credits allotted, your credits consumed, your credits remaining and WhatsApp number added. With the help of this button you can add multiple WhatsApp number to your Pabli chart flow account. If you want to know how to add your WhatsApp number to your Pabli chart flow account then we have created a separate video for it. I'll provide the link of 
of the video in the description box. Here you can also add multiple folders while in this home section you can see the active status of your WhatsApp number that were added into your Pabli Chartflow account. The second feature is the inbox in where you can store all the messages of your customer and response to them by here also. The third one is the contact in which you can list off your WhatsApp contacts who interacted with your bot. The fourth one is the team queue in where you can assign incoming chats to different team members automatically. The fifth one is the template. It is just like a pre-approved WhatsApp template. These are required for initiating a conversation if the customer has not messaged you first. The sixth one is the broadcast. It is used for sending bulk messages to many users at once. The seventh one is the flow. The eighth one is the AI assistant. The ninth one is the activity log. The tenth one is the settings and the eleventh one is the get help. If you want to know more details about these features then we have created a separate video for it. I'll provide the link of the video in the description box. I am creating WhatsApp chatbot so I'll go in the flow option. So this is the flow builder page where you can see a total number of flows, your active flows and your inactive flows. As we are creating a new WhatsApp chatbot so I am clicking on this plus add flow button. So this is the starting point of creating our WhatsApp chatbot in where at first you can see the trigger box where you can select the trigger event. Here you can see it will provide you multiple types of trigger events. I am going with keyword slash regex. You can select any of the trigger point according to your preference. Here I am selecting this. Now the keywords are the manually entered words that I expect that my user sends to me. The second one is the regex. Regex stands for regular expression. It can extract useful data from input such as email, phone number, order number, etc. Now before get started, first you have to give the name to your flow that what you are creating. As we are creating a WhatsApp chatbot that will automate order taken for restaurant. So here I provided the name. Now I'll give you a quick review about these two options, masters and actions. Under the masters, you can see different buttons are there as well as under the actions you can see different buttons are there. We will use these buttons in the creation of our flow. Here on the right hand side you can see two options are there. The one is active and active button and the another is save button. With the help of this button your flow will be updated. Now let's we get started. Here I am creating this WhatsApp chatbot with the help of some keywords. So I am entering some keywords here. The one is menu. After that I am clicking on this enter button. It will select it. The second keyword I'll write as food and the third keyword I'll write as order. Here I provided the three keywords. You can also add many. Keywords are the those expected words that your user sent to your WhatsApp business account of restaurant. After that I want to write one welcome message for them. For that I'm clicking on this circle, drag a line, choose content type as text plus button. It will provide me one enter message box where I can write my message. Here I write it that is welcome to Moonlight Restaurant. How can I assist you today? Please choose what you like to do. So I am providing them two quick buttons by clicking on this plus add button. It will provide me one enter text box where I can write my button as view menu place order. After that if my users wants to view the menu of my restaurant then they will click on this view menu button then my bot will respond to them. For that I am taking one list button. Drag this box here. Here you can see this box is divided in three sections that is header, body and footer. So here I am writing the header that is menu category and in this body I am writing the message as please select a category from our menu below. Here I am not writing any footer so I am leaving this blank. Then you can see it will provide you one button that is add section. If I will click on this then it will provide you one another box where you can write the title of the section. So here I am writing the title as our dishes. Now you can see in this it will provide you one button that is plus add items. If I click on this it will again provide one box inside it where I am going to add some dishes. The first I write as starters. Here I am adding two more items that is main course and 
and desert. After that, I am connecting this circle which are present in front of view menu to this message. Here it is connected. You can also see the example of your list by clicking on this preview option. See it will visible to your users like this. Now for the next, if my users wants to order a starter from my restaurant, then they will choose the starter option. Then my bot will respond to them. For that, I am clicking on this circle, drag a line, choose content type as text plus button. What would you like to order? Now for the next, I am adding some starter dishes that are available in my restaurant. For that, I am clicking on this plus add content button, choose content type as media button. It will again provide me one box where I am going to select my media type as image and upload one image of starter by clicking on this and upload it from my gallery. Here you can see the image is uploaded successfully. Now in this enter caption box, I am writing the name of this starter. Here I write it that is veg pakoda including their price. After that here I am providing one button that is confirm order. Here I write it after that I am again added one another desert for that I am again clicking on this plus add content button choose content type as media button. The process of adding dishes would be the same where I am going to select my media type as image and upload one another starter. Here I provided in this also I am giving them one button that is confirm order and back to menu. After that I am clicking on this circle drag a line and connect this line to this circle. So whenever my user will click on this back to menu button then my bot will again provide them the list of the dishes. Now the next one is the main course and the another one is the dessert. So the process of adding the dishes would be the same that we have done here. So I am doing the same for both these cases also for main course and dessert. See here I added all the dishes. The steps of adding would be the same. After that the next one is the place order. If my users wants to place an order in my restaurant then they will click on this place order button. So my bot will respond to them. For that I am clicking on this action option and take button as ask a question. It will provide me one question box. I will drag this box here and writing a question as Let's take your order. Please provide your full name. For that I am selecting the contact custom field as full name. I already created this field before. If you want to know how to create a contact custom field into your Pabli Chartflow account then we have created a separate video for it. I will provide the link of the video in the description box. The format I will select as text. Number of attempt I will give as one and if you want to write any validation message for your users then you can write in this box. Now I am connecting this circle which are present in front of place order to this message. After that whenever my user will provide me their full name then my bot will ask them about their contact details and their delivery address. For that I am again taking one ask a question button drag this question box here and writing a question as can I have your contact details for the order? For that I am selecting the contact custom field as contact. After that the format I will select as any. Now I am connecting this circle to this message. Connection plays the major role. You have to make sure that each and every node will connect with each other. Now at last my bot will ask them about their address for delivery. For that I am again taking one ask a question button. Drag this question box here and writing a question as thank you with dollar symbol full name. You can see I'll use this dollar symbol before full name because with the help of this symbol my bot will respond to my users by their name. As different users have different names so for sending their manual name we will use this symbol. Now at the end of this message you can see I'll write that please provide your delivery address. For that I'm selecting the contact custom field as address. The format I'll select as any. After that I am connecting this circle to this message. Now whenever my user will provide me their full name, their contact details as well as their delivery address then I want to store their information into my google sheet. For that I am taking one api request button. It will provide you one api request box. I will drag this box here. Here you can see how I connect my google sheet to my whatsapp chatbot. If you click on this then you can see it will provide you this interface in where you can select the request as post. Here you can see it will ask you for the URL. Here I am pasting the URL of the automation that I have already created before. Here I paste it. I generate this URL from here. 
after that you can see it will provide you three different types that is parameter headers and body i am creating this with parameters in where i am going to select the contact custom field as full name as at first i ask the name of my user in this key box i am writing the same as full name but without dollar symbol here I write it. Now the next information I'll ask to my user is the contact number. For that I'm selecting the contact custom field as contact and the last I'll ask about the address. Here I have selected. Now in this key boxes I am writing the same contact and address. After that I'm going to click on this test button. Here you can see our API request signed successfully. See I have got the response of name, contact and address that I have write it here. Now I'm clicking on this save button. With the help of this, my bot will automatically add the information of my user into my Google Sheet. It is only possible with the help of automation that we have done here by the help of Pabli Connect. Here I also give a quick review of about the Google Sheet where I am going to select my app event as add new row, select the spreadsheet that I have already created before, three columns on them that is full name, address and contact. Here you can see I have done the mapping of the response that I have got in this Pabli chart flow. After that I am going to click on the save and send test request button. So this is how our automation will work. If you want a detailed video of how to create an automation into your Pabli Connect account, then we have created a separate video for it. I'll provide the link of the video in the description box. Now we will get back to our Pabli chart flow. So after that, I'm going to connect this circle to this message where it is connected. Now at last, I want to write one thank you message for my user. For that, I'm clicking on this circle, drag a line, choose content type as text plus button. It will provide me one enter message box where I can write my respond message. Here I write it now for this button that is confirm order button my bot will respond to my users. For that I am clicking on this circle drag a line and connect this line to this circle because the process of ordering food from my restaurant would be the same as first my bot will ask them about their name then the contact details after that the address also store their information into Google Sheet with the help of Pabli Connect automation. So here I am connecting all these three circles confirm order circle to this message because the response would be the same. This circles also and this too. So here it is connected. After that our flow is completed. So basically this is the final look of our flow for creating a WhatsApp chatbot for our restaurant business. This bot will automatically take orders from your users and responds to them instantly. After the completion of your flow you have to click on this button save button so that your flow will be updated. This bot will automatically respond to your users like this. It will provide them all the necessary information you want to share with them. Collect their details into your Google Sheet like this. And also take the orders and give instant response to them. It is only possible with the help of Pabli Chartflow. So thank you for watching this video. Not only this, you can create multiple types of WhatsApp chatbot with the help of Pabli Chartflow. If you have any doubt, then you can email us at support at the redpabli.com. If you have any queries, then you can text us at forum.pabli.com. If you want to know the price details about Pabli Chartflow, then you can visit www.pabli.com slash chartflow. So go and create your Pabli Chartflow account and start creating your first WhatsApp chatbot for free.